What's going on YouTube, it's What's the Hype back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Arteryx. More specifically in the video, I'll give a quick overview of the brand. I'd like to mention the recent attention they've received, as well as going over how the brand feels about this attention. We'll look at collaborations, and who I recommend checking out if you enjoy the brand. If you guys enjoy watching, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more without wasting any time. Let's get it. Looking at a quick overview of the brand Arteryx, they were founded in 1989 and are currently headquartered in North Vancouver. The company is focused on making timeless, functional, high-performance products for the outdoors and for climbers. The brand has stated that Arteryx is built on the principle of obsessive, precise design and production, and their central purpose is to build the finest possible products. Arteryx is able to offer this gear by working directly with the climbers and outdoorsmen and women who are putting their products to the test. The company aims to enhance and enrich the wearer's outdoor experience by limiting factors of weather and poor outdoor conditions. With their design in mind, they tend to try and focus on minimalism and simplistic designs. One of the big criticisms behind the brand is the cost, however, if you pay attention to the amount of testing and the thought process behind each garment they put out, in my opinion, it definitely justifies the retail. Within the last couple of years, there's been a big rise in popularity of Arteryx from a different audience not intending to wear it for outdoor use. Celebrities wearing Arteryx products has led the brand to become pretty popular and mainstream within the last couple of years. Big names such as Virgil Abloh, Kanye West, and Drake have all been seen wearing products. Personally, I think Amine has been one of the best dressed when it comes to incorporating Arteryx into more streetwear based outfits. The rise in Gorpcore in fashion in the last couple of years has also led to Arteryx becoming more popular. Nike's ACG line, the North Face, Patagonia, and many more brands have become more and more in trend in recent years. If you watch TikTok, you've probably heard of the song Arteryx. This has led the brand to become more of a recognizable household name. I was very surprised to see that even Arteryx makes TikToks where they feature their own products. Combining this with the shower trend from TikTok, where the water beads off of the jacket has led Arteryx to be seen by millions of people, but most specifically young people on the app. After watching this recent video on Future Proof, which I recommend checking out, it had me questioning about how Arteryx wants to be seen as a company and brand. Based on what I've seen and read from the people who wear Arteryx, solely for functional purposes and for what the garments are actually intended for, it seems like they aren't happy with the recent rise in popularity of the brand. However, the brand's collections such as Valence, System A, and the 24 collection still made me curious if Arteryx is going to embrace the hype or lean more away from this. From what I've seen, it seems like Arteryx does have the opportunity to embrace the streetwear side of their clothing like the North Face has done with their collaborations, however, I'm not sure if they're 100% going to do this. Valence was founded in 2009 under Arteryx. The clothing is still minimalistic technical products. However, the cuts and products that are offered are more fashion forward. From what I've seen, it seems Valence is now more marketed as its own brand. Arteryx also produced the 24 collection. This collection was constructed for the urban environment, and the clothing that was produced continued to utilize minimalism within their designs. Most recently, we've seen System A, which I believe System A was the first intended name for the Valence collection. They originally got this name from a form of Russian martial arts. The creative director stated that System A is a gateway into the Arteryx world for younger progressive consumers who are a little bit more style conscious. The clothing still keeps materials, craftsmanship, and quality in mind, but for now they're adding more thought into the design for younger people. The brand has also built its recent attention around collaborations. Although it was an unofficial partnership with Virgil's Off-White show, it was interesting to see the Hadid sisters wear the jackets combined with dresses. One of the more notable official collaborations between Arteryx is with Palace Skateboards, and I found it interesting for the Arteryx to kind of lean away from the streetwear side of their clothing and then go and collaborate with a brand like Palace, because based on what I've seen on social media, most people regard Palace as the European version of Supreme, and I don't think Arteryx would ever collaborate with Supreme. Arteryx has also had a few collaborations with Concepts, and for those unaware of what Concepts is, it's a sneaker and clothing retail store. As you can see in the promotional photos, they look like they could fit into a streetwear lookbook in my opinion. 
Personally, one of my favorite collaborations is with the Japanese brand Beams. The use of color blocking and them taking advantage of the jacket's panels is very unique in my opinion to see from Arteryx. Before we move into people who I think style Arteryx really well, I wanted to just add in the video that I found it really cool to see Arteryx get Nicole McLaughlin as an ambassador. If you're not aware of her work, she does a really great job upcycling honestly anything, and I'd highly recommend you check out her Instagram if you haven't seen her yet. Real quickly, some channels I'd check out if you like Arteryx, Lucas Ludwig, I've seen a few of his videos show up in my recommended, and I checked out his channel and I really like his videos, as well as Kyron, I feel like most people in the fashion watch Kyron or have at least seen one of his videos in the past, and he has a really nice collection of Arteryx pieces. My last YouTuber recommendation is the Jacket King, who's honestly criminally underrated. He has the craziest collection of jackets I've seen, and he not only buys from Arteryx, but a lot of different brands, so I'd check him out. Last up, I have Nitz, who you're probably familiar with if you watch any of the Bentley Brothers. He hasn't worn Arteryx as much lately, but has a lot of really nice old fits. If you've made it this far into the video, honestly, the thing I want to know is, do people think Arteryx is going to embrace the streetwear side of their clothing more, or are they going to steer away from that? Make sure to drop a like and comment. I'm really honestly curious to know, and if you want to see similar videos in the future, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.